the Mets and Guardians play the second game of a doubleheader on Sunday night baseball. New York's trying to sweep Cleveland and the Guardians are trying to get something going. Anything going after dropping the first two games in agonizing fashion. Both teams send their ace to the mound. Justin Berlander for New York, Shane Bieber for Cleveland, and both horses absolutely shoved. It's the second time in their careers that Verlander and Bieber face off. The first time in 2019 didn't disappoint, with Verlander outdoing Bieber as a member of the Astros. Four years later, it's the same story, different script. While their first matchup saw 21 strikeouts between the two of them, this time Verlander and Bieber strike out just nine batters combined. But that shouldn't take away from their performances. In fact, they're even more efficient this time around, as both starters pitched through eight gutsy innings. But it's not just the starting pitching that makes this game great. You want to talk about stars showing up when it matters? Well, how about Jose Ramirez, a superstar that you might not have heard of? Maybe the best superstar that you might not have heard of. And then five innings later, 1-0 game, how about Francisco Lindor driving this breaking ball in the outer part of the plate to deep center field, and I mean deep center field, to tie the score against his former ball club. Not a bad pitch from Bieber by any means, but Lindor simply put a $341 million worthy swing on it. Verlander after that J-Ram home run only allows two more base runners and none reach past first base. It takes JV just 98 pitches to get through 8 innings, and his last one is the fastest pitch of the game for either side. It's not exactly not happy JV. Verlander not happy right now, he is not happy, he is angry. More like not mellow JV, but it'll do. A clean 96 mile per hour fastball to send things to the bottom of the 8th. Late inning drama, tie game, two alphas matching each other pitch for pitch. Everything you want in a ball game if you're a baseball fan. And it's about to get even better. Francisco Alvarez, the burly young slugger for the New York Mets, hits this line drive at a lowly 73.5 miles per hour, just out of the reach of the Guardians' terrific young second baseman, Andres Jimenez, whom you may remember is the main piece that Cleveland got back in the Lindor trade. Starlin Marte, the hero of Game 1, pinch runs for Alvarez. He baits Bieber into using both of his disengagements before Bieber even throws a pitch to Lindor. Oh yeah, Lindor is up, because of course he is. Cleveland challenges the second pickoff call because it's close and I mean, they have to. The call stands, and everyone watching knows that Marte is about to take off, which he does on this 0-1 pitch and the check swing hit and run. An excuse me swing produces a ball hit at only 80 miles per hour, but it's just enough to sneak past the vacated infield. Now I don't believe this was a true hit and run, but because Marte started to go, it opened up a whole new world in terms of what could happen on that one play. And that's just, in its most beautiful form, real baseball. You love to see it. Jeff McNeil, preeminent contact hitter and golf aficionado. You know, I love Tiger Woods. You know, I think everyone loves Tiger Woods. I love watching, uh, you know, kind of the younger guys, Xander Shoffley. The perfect guy you want in this spot. He's down two strikes, but look how far he's choking up on the bat. McNeil has a job to do, and he's going to do it, no matter what. And he does. Sackfly scores Marte from third. And meanwhile, Lindor, incredible heads up base running that you just don't see anymore in today's game. Now fortunately for Cleveland, Shane Bieber retires the Mets best hitter, Pete Alonso, on pitch number 106. And please, please don't discount what Shane Bieber just did. While this is certainly Verlander's game, Bieber eats up eight very important innings of two-run ball. Especially after emptying their bullpen on Friday night and it being a doubleheader, Shane Bieber more than does his job on a night when he doesn't have his best strikeout stuff. Because that's what an ace does. And it's not a great game without a great defensive play, which Brooks Raley gives us on this sneaky bunt attempt by Stephen Kwan. Yes, a bunt. Raley, looking for his first save of 2023, plunks a Med Rosario. But don't worry, because it's all part of the plan. Because it's all part of the plan. On just the 229th pitch of the game, Rayleigh gets J-Ram to ground out into this textbook double play started by Francisco Lindor, whose stamp is all over this game. Six 
4-3, and a nice split by Pete Alonso at first base to end the game. The Mets win a nail-biter. Verlander gets the victory. Bieber's probably thinking that should be me, and it's a very well-managed game by two vets who have been in the game for a very long time. And the time of game? Two hours and six minutes. I mean, this game was a godsend to Major League Baseball. If baseball wanted one game, just one, to showcase the best parts of its sport, this Mets-Guardians matchup would be it. Now, if we could only do something about those ESPN announcers.